Hey everyone, guess what? It's a tutorial using the Coastal Sense 88 Shimmer Palette. Um, I honestly thought maybe somebody might come to my house and hunt me down if I didn't do another tutorial using this palette. Um, but that's great because I love using this and so do you guys. I've turned out some of my favorite tutorials with this palette and this one is really fun and kind of different. It's kind of a purple and gold look. Purple on the lid fading up to golds and pastel yellows. Um, it's fun to do. It's somewhat natural yet kind of totally different. So um, if you want a look that maybe you haven't tried before, just check out this tutorial. Also, if you've looked at any of my tutorials and maybe you've gone ahead and tried the look yourself and you've taken a picture or you plan to do that in the future, make sure you take a picture and email it to me. Email it to beautybroadcast at hotmail.com because what I'm doing, I have a special blog entry that I'm going to continue, create a special page for it, and I'm going to post your own looks that you've done after watching one of these tutorials. Just So just tell me what tutorial it's fashioned after, and I will include it there for everyone else to see. And you don't have to use the same products I did, or even tell me what products you use, but just kind of show me that picture, and I think it might inspire other people to go ahead and see that these tutorials really are doable and try them for themselves. So um, anyway, guys, if you want to see how I did this fun purple and gold look, keep watching. All right, guys, first step, I want to use some um, kind of a creamy, base to really grab the first color I put on my eyes. So I'm going to use my NYX um, Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Cottage Cheese. It's just kind of a pearly white shade. So I'm just going to, uh, you know, just draw that on my lid. And it is so creamy. Don't overuse this. I always say that with any, you know, eye base or cream shadow don't want to use too much. A little can do exactly what you want it to though, which is just grab onto the shadow and uh, help it stay longer. So then I'm going to grab my 88 shimmer palette here. So ta-da! <laughs> and I'm going to go for the purple shade that is right there at the bottom in the purple row. So there's the black and then there's that purple shade. Of course, I mean, I I know there are a lot of people out there that use the 88 Shimmer Palette and so that's why I'm kind of being specific here, but any comparable shade will do. So I'm going to dip my Low Cornell eyeshadow brush into that. It's actually a paintbrush. I, I, I've deemed it an eyeshadow brush for me though. It's the 3 8 size and I'm just going to dip that into the purple shade and kind of pack it on the brush and then I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelid. So just use kind of a padding motion at first. Sometimes these ultra shimmery shades or really any shade for that matter can tend to have a little bit of fallout so you know you can do that blending back and forth motion but sort of wait till you've got it mostly on there so you know it's kind of stuck. So I'm going for that all over the lid. You can see it's really vivid and shows up well. Um, but I also, part of this look is kind of stretching that up just a little bit into the crease. So you can just flip your brush over and kind of act like you're pointing it in right in your crease. And just go like that. And just kind of stretch the color up. By that I mean don't add any additional to your brush, but just kind of blend it upward. So that purple part was really easy and so is the next step. I'm going to find a goldeny shade in this palette and if you, um, basically the reason why I did that was because I have kind of a bronzy look all over the rest of my face and so I thought it would be pretty to use a shade that I really don't normally use with purple which is gold. Those are my old like school basketball colors. Um, I cheered, not basketball, but anyway, off topic, um, <laughs> um, going for this gold shade, it would be one, two, three, four up. It's the one that looks most like metallic gold um, there in the palette. And I just thought, you know, let's kind of keep that goldeny bronze theme. If you didn't want that, um, you could by all means use like a silvery shade here and kind of and totally change where this look is going. So I'm going to use my Essence of Beauty crease brush. It's the bigger of the two that come in the two pack at CVS. And just get some of that gold on your brush. And then some interesting things are going to happen. I'm going to go over the border. Remember when we stretched the purple shade up to the crease? Just go right on top of that with this gold and you get a really neat just warm effect. It almost looks peachy. 
It's just really interesting. And we're not going, we're not making any distinct shape. We're just following the shape of our eye, really. And just kind of stretching that up there. Then I'm going to take a much fluffier brush, which will give us a more diffused application. And I'm going to go to the shade that is directly above that gold that we use. It's more of a uh, going toward pastel yellow than gold. And that's the shade we're going to blend on up to our... Uh, eyebrow it's kind of a highlight shade so just I'm gonna get some of that on my Sephora rounded crease brush be careful to uh, tap off the excess and just kind of you know it's it's just kind of that that deeper gold shade just blending right up into a pretty yellow okay so once that's uh, blended to your satisfaction, we're going to switch gears a little bit, go for a smaller crease brush. This is the smaller Essence of Beauty crease brush. And we're going for a little bit of black in this look. We're really not using a lot, but just a little. I'm using the one that's down there in the corner. And it, once again, I want to stress, you know, if you don't have this palette, just similar shades will do. You can achieve the look with um, probably a number of other products. So just want to make sure that's clear. Um, but get a little bit of that on your smallish crease brush and what we're going to do is darken up this area right here we're going to be stick those strictly to the outer half we really want to keep this nice thing we've got going here kind of uninterrupted so um, what I'm going to do is just kind of start right here I couldn't even call it the outer half I would call it maybe the outer fourth <laughs> if that of my eye, eye uh, crease there and this is just going to help us have a little more contrast as we continue to, you know, work with lashes and things like that. It's just going to give us that nice deepened effect right here. So once again, control yourself. Don't let yourself go all the way into the crease. Just keep it kind of partial like that. And you can see it's not perfectly um, blended into that right now, but like I said, if I, if I took this brush now and just went swiping, swiping, swiping all over, it would really kind of mess up the look. So I'm going to really lightly keep it kind of confined to the outer, outer borders and just really lightly tap over that darker shade. That's going to diffuse it a little bit, but not mess up the look, if you know what I mean. All right, we're going to take a break from the shadow for a little bit, and we're going to do some liner. I'm going to grab my Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eye Pen in Blackest Black. Um, I really prefer the regular Revlon Color Stay Liquid Liner, but I'm running low on mine, so I have gone to this, which is, it really, it works pretty, pretty well. It's just, it doesn't have quite the intensity. You can, you can get that kind of intensity but you might have to be a little more careful when using this to go over it to make sure it's as black as you want it. So, it's maybe a little slower go than I usually do, but that's okay. You guys are patient. Notice I'm kind of using the side of this, um, little pen-like applicator because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm getting some fresh juice out of the side of this thing. That sounded weird. <laughs> um, I'm winging it out, uh, not a lot. I really didn't do too much with that on the other side, but just kind of enough. We're just following the shape of the look, so we got a little outer V. Um, with the shadow, so we'll do a little bit of a winged look um, with the liner. That's kind of a rule of thumb if you're kind of wondering, when does it look good to do that? Um, I think it looks good when you're when you're doing the outer V and you do the winged liner as well. That kind of follows that shape, and then you can go back and sort of reshape your shadow to fit that line even better. So, little thought there. Um, then I'm going to take um, a new liner I'm testing out. It's the Alme Eyeliner in black but it had a special like I think I saved the packaging sorry it's um it's just all my eyeliner but it says lasts up to 16 hours won't smudge so that's the same claim Revlon color stay gives so I'm kind of like comparing them in the process of doing that right now but anyway um, just blend it up with the outer edge there 
one down onto your natural lash line and this is where you want to keep it really soft like I'm just kind of dotting it in between my eyelashes right here I'm really not doing anything much because I'm going to be topping it off with shadow and I just kind of want a deep purple look there so I'm going over that with purple in a second oh then go ahead and line your waterline I'm going for a sort of a fade down effect on the uh, lower lash line here so that's why I kind of like that um, keeping it kind of intense right in there and then it kind of you'll notice this side kind of fades out with the purple so that's the thought process there uh, so I'm going to go back to the palette go back to the purple shade that you used all over your lid only this time use a liner brush and I'm just going right on top of the uh, liner that I put down, not on my waterline, but on my natural lash line. Uh, go ahead and curl your eyelashes. And I'm going to apply, when I'm done, a coat of the CoverGirl Super Thick Lash Mascara, which is super cheap, but really underrated, I think. This is a pretty darn good mascara. I'm going to apply just a little bit to my lower lashes, a couple coats to my top lashes. Then I'm going to apply some false eyelashes on top of that. Uh, the ones I am wearing are the uh, Demi Pixies. So they... Um, Kind of have this look to them they're kind of like in little pieces together and they're not super long so they're they're longer on the outside but not so much on the inside so I'm gonna go ahead and get that all together and then show you the finish okay everyone here is the finished look using purples and golds and really warming up the typical purple look and what I really noticed about this especially since we've got these false eyelashes on that are kind of dramatic you know um, it's sort of one of those peekaboo eye looks where you know head-on you may not even notice that the purple is really there but once you close your eyes you can see it and it's really pretty so that's kind of what makes this a look that's wearable for daytime but would really be fun you know with a cute outfit or something you're going out at night or whatever so kept the lips kind of neutral but yet kind of following our goldeny bronze theme throughout our face and I'm using the Coastal Sense Smacks in sheer tan so that's just one of my favorite shades there if you've seen my video on the Smacks you may recognize that um, elsewhere on my face kind of a nice thing to keep in mind for this to keep it sort of dewy I used my Sonia Kashuk um, duo with the golden cream bronzer and also this pretty blush shade so I use the bronzer kind of like to contour my cheeks and the blush right on the apples of my cheeks and then I set that blush with my Milani Minerals blush in my tie and um, I just kind of went over my whole face with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow in Starlight Bronze so just dusted it all over so really easy look but really fun and different so thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day